Hello? Hello. Elizabeth is uh, Leontes and Camillo. Um, Megan is uh, Florizel and Perdita. Chelsea is Paulina. And Cassie is Hermione and Mr. Lanius, which is our uh, our punny villain for everything that we didn't know what we So. Scene one. Oh, right, five. As we come upon the sea, <coughs> Leontis mourns the death of Hermione and the members. His lords protest, for he has spent many a year in sorrow, in repentance, in hopelessness. But little does he know he is about to receive a surprise visitor. Before Leontis' face collides with the blessed fist of Providence, <laughs> Paulina compels him to swear an oath. And this is serious. For oaths are not meant to be broken. Ho! <laughs> <laughs> By his oath to Paulina, the, the aunties may never take a bribe without her consent. Unless that very same providence which is about to present a few blessedly unexpected guests steamrolls Paulina's resolve. Florizel arrives with fortuitous news. The he comes before the haggard and most sorrowful lord of all Cecilia, and claims to come in his father's stead, bearing the hope of reconciliation. Blessed reconciliation. But indeed it proves too good to be true. In the midst of all the court praising Florizel's wife, Perdida, for our unmasked visage, the likes of which have never been seen but for one. <coughs> oh, how Lady Pauline reminds us. There is only one. <laughs> and so, the queen herself, so beautiful, blessed Hermione. Well, another news. Polyxenes sends word ahead, and though Florizel is his son, he is no son at all. And he must be arrested. Polyxenes is coming, and he brings the old shepherd with him, and his idiotic clown offspring too. <laughs> Oh, woe is me, woe is me. I miss Hermione and Mamilius. Oh, woe is me. This is your fault. Feel bad. Feel bad. Jeez, Paulina, I feel bad, okay? I know it's my fault. Don't, don't feel sad anymore. You've been so sad. I'm putting my foot down. You can never, ever marry again. Never? Never. 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 <laughs> I'm putting the right there. That's it, me. Look how beautiful my wife is. I'm so beautiful. <laughs> wow, beautiful. No, sir, none is more beautiful than the queen. Don't forget. Never? Never. <laughs> Florizio is a liar. Arrest him. A liar? A liar. <laughs> Furthermore, in some strange scene that was recounted by some people who saw something happen when it actually could have been on stage and we're not entirely sure why. So yada yada yada, and we find out that Perdita's actually the baby that Leontes had by Hermione many years ago. The same one that an, an, an Antigonus brought to Bohemia and, and he was mauled by a bear. And, um, he, really, he really was a very perceptive fellow. In all his blessedly and disturbingly <laughs> accurate future predictions, he somehow saw that they would need jewels in the, a letter. So they had that stuff. And the daughter of the king, 
uh, yeah, she was the daughter of the king, and the baby was the daughter of the queen, and she was also the seeming orphan taken in by a strange old shepherd, and she was the betrothed, uh, <coughs> she was betrothed to the re rejected prince, and um, yeah, and the near perfect and staggeringly fantastical image of the dead queen. So, Perdita um, is, oh yes, yes, and, and somewhere in there, Perdita's acknowledged the princess, and oh, blessed princess, and, and Paulina <laughs> allegedly has a statue of mother and a house, and, and Perdita wants to see it. Yeah. <laughs> the baby didn't die? She didn't die? No. An, an old man found her. Found her? You do know the kings are friends again, huh? Uh, wow. Yes, wow. <laughs> the girl who was formerly a lost baby is going to Perdita's house. <laughs> the scene shifts into the house of Lady Paulina, where allegedly she has a statue of Hermione that is supposed to be so grand, so fantastic, <laughs> and so brazenly statuesque that it actually looks like herself. It could look like her particularly a statue, but it's probably not. And such that the statue which Paulina allegedly is keeping in the home, but it's, but it's a statue <coughs> allegedly. The last Paulina pulls back the curtain and reveals the alleged statue of Hermione, and it indeed looks so realistic. But if you were to touch it, it might even convince you that it was real flesh. True epidermis, the outermost layer of the skin. <laughs> but indeed, not real flesh, but very realistic. <laughs> it's, it's what a statue allegedly. And so, he desires to kiss her, the aunties, and Pomona says no. And that is so real it might even frighten. And she says, okay, if you really want to touch her, first I'm going to do magic, alleged magic, on my alleged statue, <laughs> which, when she casts a spell, it moves. And that is not alleged. And because it actually moves, it's not really a statue, but it's actually Hermione, and she's alive. Because blessed Hermione never actually died. Believe is hiding her, because, well, she was hiding her, and she was alive while she was bidding him. <laughs> and the whole time she was allegedly a statue, but she wasn't. <laughs> so you had, you, had a, you had a vague and, and unimpressive family reunion, and yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a statue. Yes, a statue, no matter what, it's just a statue. Even if it moves or breathes or something, it's still a statue. Yeah, yeah it's just it's a statue. <laughs> I know it's just a statue. Come on, guys, it's just a statue. Dad, it's just a statue. I want to get a little bit closer. No, it's just a statue. <laughs> and you can't get close to it because it might be real and freak you out. <laughs> I will get just a little bit close to it. Then I'll do magic. Magic? I'm doing it. Ta da! Sweet. I'm alive! <laughs> oh my gosh, you're alive! Uh, yes, I am indeed alive. <laughs> We're a family again. Hernita and Hermione, we're a family, yay! 